Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on value copy. It's a different way to map relationship between uh, like shared state within your world without using logics. So here I have a checkbox set up and I've wired it using logics up to this light enabled field. So when you turn on the checkbox, the light turns on. That's one way of doing it, but there's actually a way to do this without logics that could be better for certain circumstances and uh, allow tidier setup sometimes or more um, more dynamic setups and that's using the value copy component to get started with that I'm going to pop an inspector for the checkbox and pop an inspector for the light I'm going to go up to the actual light right now we're inside the visual of the light which is the the orb this is the the root of the light and so you'll see when I check this checkbox this is checked value goes on and off what we're going to do is use a value copy component to copy that value into the light's enabled property, which determines if the light is on or off. So on the point light, I'm going to attach a new component called value copy by doing attach component transform drivers value copy. Oh, having some tracking issues here. One second. There we go. Value copy. Now this uh, asks us to specify what type of data we're copying. For the light, we're going to be copying a bool, which is also short for a boolean, which just means a, a true-false value. You can also copy um, all sorts of values. I often copy float threes or uh, or float sometimes. Those will copy float three or copy positions, and float will copy of numbers like uh, intensity or scale, that sort of thing. So value copy bool is what we're going to use here. And then you'll see here that the, uh, just make this bigger as well. We've got value copy ball here. And just there's a bunch of properties. There's enabled and then there's source and target. The source and target are what we're going to be used to control this uh, value copy operation. If we go to the top of the light here, I'll bring this down as well. Um, you'll see there's an enabled field here. We're going to grab the enable field and we'll have it on our hand. And then we're going to go down to the value copy component. There's a lot of scrolling, that's because we're on a, a default light here. And we're going to put that into the target field by just letting go here. I missed, that's great. Enabled. And target, there we go. So now target is set to the enabled property here. And then we're going to go over to the checkbox here and we're going to grab uh, is checked. And we're going to put that into the source field. And now that value copy is set up correctly. So if I deselect everything to get rid of the gizmos, you'll now see that without logics, when I turn on this, this turns on. And this works uh, wirelessly. There's no logics nodes or ribbons. So if I chuck this over here, you can turn it on and off. 